Listen, there may be no more important aspect of any relationship than trust. If you don't have trust, you can't have a relationship. But the problem is many people try to build or even rebuild trust in relationships going the persuasion route. But trust is never built through persuasion, uh, through logic, uh, through airtight, intelligent arguments. You don't build trust with somebody by convincing them that you're smart, that you're right, or that you're even trustworthy. Trustworthiness is not something that you persuade or convince somebody of. Trust is built when another person actually believes you understand them. The foundational number one key to trust in a relationship is understanding. When somebody knows that you understand them, magically trust begins to build in a relationship. Brain science has showed us that we are wired to open up and trust when we think somebody understands us. It's called mirroring. If you think about a mirror, a mirror reflects back who we are. And so in communication, the deepest level of communication occurs when we feel like somebody is mirroring ourselves back to us, where we feel like the other person is saying, I hear you, I see you, I know you, I get you. And when that happens, you will begin to build trust with a partner. If you don't feel like there's understanding, it's going to be hard to have trust in a relationship. You see this mirroring all the time with mothers and babies. If you ever seen a mother look at the little baby and talk all sweet to it and smile to it and keep going. And at some point, the baby mirrors what the mom's giving it by smiling back, right? And when the baby smiles back, the mother gets all excited and starts talking even more and smiling even more. And you get this mirroring going back and forth and oxytocin begins to flow and bonding is occurring. And so mirroring in a relationship is all built around feeling like the other person understands you or you feeling like they are gaining understanding or have a desire to try to understand you. So if you feel like they understand you and if they feel like you understand them, you begin to get this mirroring in a relationship where the two people feel like they're understanding each other. And when you feel understood in a relationship, three things begin to happen. Fear and resistance calms down we begin to open up and listen better, and our thinking, our reasoning, and our judgment all get better in the relationship. For every one of us, when we feel like we are listened to, we then become much better listeners. In fact, Proverbs 18, 13 says, and he who answers before he hears, it is foolishness and shame to him. <laughs> Basically, Dude, if you start answering before you fully heard or understood somebody, you're a fool. You're answering what you don't even fully know. So we've got to first listen and understand if we're going to build trust in a relationship. Now, it's not just understanding, right? Because somebody can understand your dislikes, your likes, your needs, your desires, the things that hurt you in a relationship. But if they don't follow the understanding with actions that person is not trustworthy, right? If the person understands this is what you need from them in a relationship, if the person understands this is what, what is desired, if a person understands that these things hurt you but then they don't follow through and instead they're still hurting you, they're not meeting your needs and desires in a relationship, that's not a person you wanna give trust to. So understanding's the foundation but then there's some key essentials that are going to go with it. So as you begin to try to determine, should you even trust somebody? So let's say you're getting into a relationship and you're trying to determine, is this somebody I can trust? I would first ask you, do you feel like this person fully understands you? Do you feel like this person is putting legitimate intentional effort into gaining understanding, right? You, we've all been out to dinner with somebody who only wants to talk about themselves and never even asks us a question about ourselves. That's not somebody you want to trust. But if you feel like the other person is legitimately trying to understand you or they do understand you, that's someone you can begin to give trust to. If they don't, that's not somebody you want to give too much trust to. But understanding is just the base level. I did a video a couple weeks ago that I'll tag at the end of this video where I listed the five essentials of trust based on Henry Cloud's new book, Trust, and it's understanding, motive, ability, character, and track record. So understanding is a foundation. If there's no understanding, 
you can't build trust in a relationship. But it doesn't just stop there because there's been many of us that have gotten in relationships and got all excited because we feel like, oh, they get me. Uh, they totally understand me. They're just like me. They got all this understanding for us. Cool. I like that. But if they've got the wrong motive, if they don't have the ability to follow through, if they don't have character or track record, we still might end up giving trust to somebody who has fully understood us, but they got a bunch of monsters in their closet that we haven't yet looked at or dealt with. So understanding is the foundation. If somebody does not understand you, your wants, your needs, your desires, your likes, your dislikes, the things that hurt you, the thing that caused pain for you in a relationship, the things that you want to avoid, if they don't fully understand that or are not trying to understand that, do not give trust in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, trust has been broken, you're trying to rebuild it, this person needs to exhibit an understanding. They want to understand how they hurt you. They want to understand what they can do to rebuild trust. They want to be gaining understanding. If they're just trying to move past the issue and get right back to things as they were, that's not somebody you want to fully give trust to. You, they want, to exhi- you want them to exhibit a desire to fully understand you, who you are what makes you move, what causes you to pause, what lights up fear and anxiety in a relationship, what feels safe and secure and comfort in a relationship. When somebody is exhibiting that level of understanding, that is somebody that you can move forward with and trust and start looking at some of the other key essentials. If they're not exhibiting that, I would encourage you not to trust or not to trust again until they start exhibiting it. But Understanding is just the foundation. You've also got to evaluate the other essentials. I'll tag the video for that at the end of this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, but understanding is the key to building trust in a relationship. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about that. If you've not downloaded our free guide to intimacy, you can do that in the description area below as well. And until next time, check out the trust video and I'll see you in the next one.